Imagine being able to create a game from a single prompt or image. Well, Google's Genie AI does exactly that. Google DeepMind, artificial intelligence research arm of Google, has released Genie, an image to video AI model that can generate fully interactive, playable games from real world images or even human made sketches. The model is trained on 200,000 hours of unsupervised public internet gaming videos and can generate video games from a single prompt or image. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about this new Genie AI and how it could potentially revolutionize the video game industry. So all you need is an image along with a prompt and Genie will take that image and create an interactive game from it. It can create action controllable virtual worlds described through text, images, photos, and handmade sketches. You'll have an interactive map with a character that you can make jump and move left or right. Now the model is still very basic and it's not yet released to the public, but based on some examples that we've seen, it has a lot of potential. Early examples of Genie's outputs are basic but impressive. It's safe to say there is still a long way to go before AI-generated video games will be enjoyable for users. Currently, Genie's games run at one frame per second, compared to 30 to 60 frames per second for most console games and 100 plus frames per second for many PC games. However, the model's creators say there is no fundamental limitation that will prevent Genie from reaching 30 frames per second in the future. Now, the thing that really interests me about this model is it's very similar to a model that I covered on this channel recently, and I'm talking about Sora AI. Both Genie and Sora are what we call world models. In short, that means the AI does its best to recreate the world around us. Because of this, Genie can do more than just create 2D side-scrolling games. It has the potential to teach other models about 3D worlds as well. If its world model is perfected, AGI might be closer than we think. Google DeepMind even stated this, saying they also trained Genie on robotics data without actions and demonstrated that they can learn an action controllable simulator there too. They said they think it's a promising step towards general world models for AGI. Okay, before we start saying this is going to completely destroy the gaming industry and video game developers are going to be out of a job, let's first understand understand what this actually is. We're throwing the term video game around here loosely. It's more of an interactive video. Obviously, saying an AI can create an interactive video sounds a lot more boring than just saying video game. And not to mention, video games aren't just side-scrolling videos where characters jump and move around. There are so many variations of video games that AI isn't close to creating. Genie sprouts out the same game based on an image. All it's doing is recognizing patterns and creating an engine. There's so much more to game development than just writing code. There's storytelling, music, and so much more that needs to be perfectly crafted to create an enjoyable and entertaining experience for the player. An AI model is far from doing any of that. So I'm not the slightest bit worried that Genie AI, at least in its current form, is going to replace game developers anytime soon. And I'm pretty sure Google knows this as well. Their goal here doesn't seem to be a perfect model that can perfectly craft video games from scratch, but they're actively trying to create AGI by developing these models that can understand and interact with the world around us. AGI has always been the goal, and the AI companies know this. Everything that they're doing is leading to the singularity, and with a new advancement happening almost every week, it might come sooner than we think. So don't worry game developers, AI isn't coming for your job anytime soon, and the video game industry will hardly be affected by Genie, at least for now. Now. Remember, this is only based on what they've told us their model can do. Right now, there's no plans for Google to release Genie to the public, but who knows, that might change sometime in the near future. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.